So once you double click on the software after you install it, you'll want to go to manual entry. And once you get into manual entry, it somewhat looks like the graphical analysis that we use in the physics lab. I'll tell you a little bit about how it's different. So let's say you're going to enter your data in the table. So I'm just going to enter random data here. <clears throat> and um, let's say I'm just making up data as I go on the fly. And so you can tell that that's already been graphed in the table. Now you know that I like you to relabel the axes and the place we do that is in the table itself. So you're gonna click on these three horizontal dots in the table and go to column options. And let's say for example, rather than X, we're gonna call this time. And rather than having Y, we'll click on these three horizontal dots. Go to this column option and call it, for example, position. And this is just for example, I'm not saying you will be making a graph of position versus time, but this is definitely a graph that you're familiar with. So you always wanna put in units and notice how the graph is automatically now updated with new X, and Y axes labels. Now, you know that you're gonna do a linear fit in this graph, and the place you would do that is you go to this lower left corner where it says graph tools. When you click on that, you would apply the curve fit, and it will give you an, an option, and you can list, or you can click and see what other options you have if it's not linear and then you click apply and now you have your slope and y intercept. Also, you want to label your graph and so you would go back to the lower left corner and click on this button on the lower left and go to edit graph options. And now you would label your graph, let's say for example here, it would be position versus time. And now you have a label for your graph, you have your X and Y axes. If I had asked you to get the area under the graph, for example, then you can also do that. Again, you come back to the tools at the bottom left corner button. And when you come here, you can say view integral, and that basically gives you the area under the graph. So you choose whatever tools you want and apply those. So for now, I'm just gonna leave the linear fit in place. Now in this graph, you're not going to save the graph, you're going to export the graph. So when you go to the upper right, the upper left corner, where it says the graph now has an untitled name, you wanna click on that. And don't go to save or save as, because it will save it as a graphical analysis type. And you don't want that. You want to click on export and use graph image. That way you can, insert that image into your lab report. And so save it wherever you wanna save it and basically you would bring that or insert it into the Word document in which you will be making your lab report.